Hey there, good afternoon everyone. Happy Friday. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of another busy week. Uh, we're thankful for all that God has done this week in our lives, our hearts, our church, our home. And so let's pray and give God glory and uh, then we'll come here uh, to the Word of God and find, find some help here this afternoon. Father, we thank you uh, for the Word of God. We thank you for its power and uh, uh, its health that it is. Uh, each each time we open it, uh, Lord, the truth it teaches us, the, the helpful reminders that we see, uh, the encouragement that it brings. Lord, we give you glory for what you've done in our lives this week. We pray that you would do more and mightier things. Uh, help us live with the right understanding of who we are in thee. But Father, we pray for your blessing on our time. Lord, please send revival, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles to Deuteronomy chapter 14. Deuteronomy chapter 14, and in verse number 1, the Bible says this. It says, Ye are the children of the Lord your God. Would you mark that statement? Uh, Ye are the children of the Lord your God. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes uh, for the dead. Uh, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. You and I, notice another statement here, you are a peculiar people. And so many times uh, we, we read uh, the word peculiar in the Bible, and we think that it means something uh, different, so like we're strange. And that might be the case, we may be a, a bit odd at times. But what does this word peculiar actually mean? In uh, in First Peter chapter two, in verse number nine, the Bible says, "But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of Him who hath called you out of darkness into His marvelous light." You and I are a peculiar people. We are, uh, as as Moses stated, it says, "Ye are the children of the Lord your God." But we are a peculiar people. The word peculiar does not mean strange. It means that we belong to the Lord. Uh, it, he has taken ownership of our lives. We, in fact, belong to Him. And so as, as, as the Lord gives further instruction here in Deuteronomy chapter 14, uh, instruction to the children of Israel as they prepare to, to occupy the promised land, uh, he's, he's reiterating to them uh, the fact that, uh, that they have a, a goodly heritage and, that, and their heritage is the Lord and that they are to live their lives for His glory. And there's a, there's a great temptation to live for lesser things. There's a great uh, pull, there's a great lure uh, given by the world uh, that, that seeks to pull us away from Christ. But rather, God's intention for us is that we would live our lives for Him. And so all of this can be some summarized in, in, in our behavior. And, and basically God is saying, listen, uh, the people that you're going in, uh, whose land you're going to take, um, the, they, they, they didn't live for me. Now, they didn't know me. They, they lived uh, uh, sinful, licentious lives. But now you and I, you are different. And I'm giving you this land. I'm leading you in. I'm going to provide this to you because I've chosen you. You're a peculiar people. You are my children. And as such... Uh, we live a certain way. A friend of mine always used to make this statement. He'd always tell us, saying, he said, every time we got ready to leave each other, uh, say goodbye to one, to one another, he would always say, hey, remember who you are and remember whose you are. And uh, that settles everything. We Remember who you are, remember whose you are. We belong to the Lord. And who I am is not, what I, is not who I used to be. And uh, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new, and all things are of God. And as we consider our lives, let's not live for anything or anyone less than the Lord. And so, remember, ye are the children of the Lord your God. Father in heaven, we thank you for the word of God today. And Lord, our prayer is that you would help us to live our lives for thee. Lord, we understand that we no longer belong to ourselves. We've been purchased by you. We've been redeemed. And, uh, Lord, we are your peculiar people. And, Lord, furthermore, we are your children. And so, Father, help us live in a manner that glorifies and honors you. And so, Lord, we pray that you lead us on. Give us wisdom in all that this entails and involves. But, Father, we love you, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Well, friends, thank you for joining us today. As always, we are very grateful. Hope to see you in church on Sunday. We've got many special things in store as we move through the month of November. It's hard to believe that the month of November is nearly half over now. Uh, but we're praying, trusting the Lord. And Lord willing, we'll see you then. God bless you. Have a great end of your week. Bye-bye.